boop, 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 bobbing along. Hi, I'm Stuart. I'm a guitar designer and builder. And I'm Emmy. I live with Stuart on our narrow boat. <laughs> I'm an NHS administrator and a local artist. And this is a vlog of us on our living on our narrow boat and juggling with our everyday work as well as boat life. Enjoy. Come back, okay, in like half an hour or so, and I'll have some oats for you, yeah? Stop hassling me right now. Building stuff. Good morning. We're in Birkenstead and we're a bit stressed. Uh, the water level has dropped loads. If you can see that barrier there, that was the water level last night was about a third of the way up that sort of fender armco type thing. Um, and now it's dropped about eight inches below that, I would say. And uh, we're pretty sure we're sitting on the bank because we're not moving and we're rolled over to the left. So these locks in this little system are two have this note on it saying please leave lock empty after use by leaving bottom paddle up and they wasn't empty they weren't empty and the gates weren't even closed so uh someone did a naughty when they came through last night we don't know if we've done the right thing but there is water coming out here now. yeah i mean so you can cool. also if you look at the bottom of the lock there you can see how much that struck by that's probably nearly a foot I'm off on a solo adventure today. Uh, I probably said, but I'm getting ready for a guitar show on Sunday. So I'm trying to just get through as much work as I can. Uh, I've also got a couple of things I need to get done as well. But yeah, obviously the more I get done, the better. Um, Birkenstead Station is world fancy. It's got its own fish and chip bar as well as its own like private loan little wine emporium it's mad i haven't walked down this way yet but it's quite nice and pretty Shame I'm doing it to go empty some toilets. The problem is, is it's like three locks to go empty our toilets. We really need that third cassette. I'm gonna, every time I do this, I bang on about needing a third cassette. So I'm gonna bang on some more about needing a third cassette because this, I don't mind to do it, does feel like a waste of time. And I have to remind myself sometimes, I think, a little bit of why we decided to do this in the first case. So, um, I felt like, for me, uh, after finding out about my infertility, rude, uh, that all we were doing with our lives was living in a nice, comfortable flat that I hated, um, ticking off days, working, ticking off days, watching TV until we die. And what are we doing? Why are we just, uh, why are we just ticking off days and doing nothing with our lives? Where's our adventure? And uh, that was, I think what I wanted most of all, so I was quite happy, I was, I would have quite happily moved somewhere else and explored somewhere, and I think the shine would have worn off on that, but then we would have maybe tried to find the next adventure, and maybe that's still the case, you know, I think probably quite possibly the shine will wear off on, on boat life at some point, um, or 
you know, maybe it doesn't wear off and maybe we love it and we do it until we can't do it anymore. Um, also a possibility. But that was my how I felt. Uh, and I'd always quite liked the idea of boat life. And I think Emmy... Emmy wasn't so open to it because she didn't... She didn't think she could get... Uh, you know, she thought it would just be a hard, cold, uncomfortable life. And I think it wasn't until one of her friends, who's quite similar to her in some way, started doing it, telling her how fantastic it is, that she realised that she actually was quite open to it. Um, and it certainly has felt like an adventure. And... I haven't had the troubles I'd had with sleeping, but I guess it's difficult. I think you have to find them, find your meaning for you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's as much as uh, I'm going to see if I can find these services because they're meant to be around here, around the car park. Ah, rubbish disposal, Berkhamstead, it's on the other side just found it so how much of this if anything makes it into Emmy's into Emmy's edit I don't know but uh, I hope you enjoyed my ramblings we're about to play don't drop the frog oh. <laughs> poor frog Good morning on Saturday. We're surrounded by laundry because um, we weren't able to get to a laundrette until we got to Berkhamstead and so still took quite a lot and he was nervous about tumble drying quite a lot of it, um, which technically probably shouldn't be tumble dried. He's right, but I would have just thrown it in. Um, yeah, because oh, now it's all... Get the blame. <laughs> <laughs> now it's all drying here and condensing on our windows. But um, we've got, it's another sort of separate weekend. Stu's got a guitar show and lots of work to do to prepare. And I'm going to be quietly doing errands, cleaning and drawing, really. So a quiet sort of video this weekend, I think. I think he's reading Warhammer stuff. My phone is charging, so I can't read the news. <laughs> I feel a bit, the internet keeps going down. I've left it too late to, kind of late to design a 2023 calendar before uh, the last market I'm doing this year. And everything's going a bit wrong this morning and the boat's a horrible mess. So while the internet's falling around, I guess I'll do some cleaning. Oh, I've cleaned the bathroom. I'm really struggling with this calendar design. I haven't allowed myself enough time to get used to the software and get it all designed. Um, so I'm gonna take a break and go out into Berkhamstead and run my errands. I came this way to collect an Amazon package and I'm completely distracted by a castle now. But errands are done, packages collected, a bit of food shopping done. I'm going to be cooking this weekend because Stu's really busy with the guitar show. And I kind of want to um, cook something nice to make up for ready meals on our anniversary last weekend. Right, 6pm. I spent all day on the calendar, <laughs> which isn't finished, but it's close to it. So I'm feeling hopeful. Uh, Stu's still in the workshop now just to try and clean the boat and get some more drawing done and maybe I won't do a big cooking today I'll do the special cooking tomorrow and do one of my curry bags today <laughs> Stu's back
Good morning on Sunday. It's guitar show day. It's raining. I'm just helping Stu carry some guitars to the car. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling, Stu? Uh, all right, if a little stressed about how late it is already. Um, I should have got up a bit earlier. <laughs> Drive safe. Well, do you have be a good safe show and have a good day. Definitely got problems with our internet and it's us because the internet here in Berkhamsted is excellent um, and when it's working it's working but our router keeps I think restarting itself it's very frustrating and so I just spent another couple of hours just finalizing my calendar design but now I'm just I can't place the order which is well hopefully it will still be okay uh, also I tried to it might just be me because I haven't tried to run the engine for the battery on my own before, but I couldn't start the engine. Uh, and I haven't told Stu yet because I don't want to stress him while he's at his guitar show. Uh, so that'll be some bad news for him for later. Or possibly it's just me being silly. Just going to focus on drawing and I'm going to cook a dinner. A proper dinner. I'm going to do proper cooking. Ready for when Stu comes home. And here's about the engine and the internet. But hopefully he's having a good guitar show. <laughs> Stu's just sold a guitar at the show and I'm so happy for him. He doesn't usually sell at the shows, it's more of a meeting people thing. Um, I'm sure that's made his day. I've just finished with my guitar show. Uh, I had the most successful guitar show I think I've ever had, particularly at a small one day guitar show. Um, so I've got to drive back to the workshop now and drop all my stuff off and then I've got to drive home after that and I'm kind of tired, but it was good. Good tired. The engine is working. <laughs> I had another go. I don't know why I couldn't start it earlier, because it is now running. <laughs> right, time to cook the dinner. I'm going to attempt a new recipe from the Aki and Plantain cookbook by RG Vegan. It's a fragrantly spiced chickpea stew, which should take 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So probably for me an hour to an hour and a half. I've never made anything from this cookbook before. I just like buying cookbooks and thinking about cooking, even though I don't like cooking. Uh, but hopefully this will be a, a delicious meal for Stu. I did mean to buy plantains, but I forgot to even put them on the shopping list. And maybe they don't sell them here anyway. That's, I wouldn't normally go to Waitrose for them. A couple of chopped onions and four cloves of chopped garlic going in. of brass el hanou, if I'm saying that right, which is pretty old actually. It smells nice, so lost our measuring spoons, but this is a teaspoon, isn't it? It's just not as accurate as the real measuring spoons. Oh, this smells really nice. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. Right, 
that just needs to cook for 20 to 25 minutes so I'm just gonna wash and put some rice on to cook in the same time and hopefully Stu will be home fairly good timing. Pine nuts toasting, chickpea stew, rice. I've made a salad. Feeling pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit on the step and eat this, but this looks and smells absolutely delicious. Wait, so how was the guitar show? Pretty good, actually, I was surprised. Did you film an update? A little. Mm. This is really good. Yay, <laughs> success. started with just two darks. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this slightly more reflective, normal life working video. Please do hit like if you liked this and chat with us down below. And if you'd like to follow along, please do subscribe. Thanks again and hope to see you next week. Bye. Oh, uh -huh.